Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to find the area of the given triangle in this graph. And we will be using this formula to find the area of this given triangle. And just one more thing, just keep in your mind that this part is called the determinant of a three by three matrix. And here is our very first step. Let's look at these points A, B, C. I want to call this point A its word its coordinates x1, y1. For B is going to be x2, y2. For C is going to be x3, y3. Then this uh, formula of this triangle is going to become with these points A, B, and C. So finally, these points become simply, I can write as negative five, three, one, four, four, negative three, and these entries one, one, one are gonna stay same. And now in the next step, we are going to find the value of this determinant. I have just put it down over here. Let me show you an easy way to find the value of this determinant. Just simply draw this horizontal line. Let's crisscross. Let's multiply this part. Negative 5 times 4 is going to be negative 20. And then you always put a minus sign. 3 times 1 is 3. Negative 20 times minus 3 is going to be negative 23. This negative 23 is going to go in the opposite side right up here. Let's do this one same thing in the next pair. This 3 times 1 is 3. Then we put a minus sign. 4 times 1 is 4. 3 minus 4 is negative 1. So negative 1 is going to go in this opposite side. And now we need to fill out this middle part. For that one, let me just look at this part, this the very first column. Let me copy and paste. Let me just put down negative 5 and 1 and just simply crisscross. 1 times 1 is 1 and then we put a minus sign and then 1 times negative 5 is negative 5. 1 negative and negative become positive 5 is equal to 6. So that means 6 is going to come in the middle. The next step is let's simply go ahead and multiply out these numbers first and then we're going to add them. So this 4 times negative 1 is negative 4 and this become negative 18 and this is minus 23. And if we add them, that is going to give us negative 45. So thus in our final step, our area of triangle is going to be 1 over 2 times. We figured out the value of this determinant. This turns out to be a negative 45. Let's simplify. That's going to be negative 22.5 and now we know that the area must always be positive so this negative number must be positive thus the area of this given triangle turns out to be positive 22.5 square units and that is our answer and here is your assignment can you do this problem on your own now you can take your time Luckily, I have already uploaded this video as well. Please go ahead and check it out and see the correct answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.